is what classic is all about. I think so, actually. Like, this is what it always has been about. People love this kind of shit. Here's why they like this. As many years ago, a young person with low self-esteem, maybe not too many friends in real life, they'd get in a well, and it would force them to come out of their shell. And they would grow as a person, and they'd become something more than themselves. They would be part of something bigger, something that meant something. And it doesn't matter that it was a game. It doesn't matter that it didn't matter. It doesn't matter that it was just pixels. It didn't matter that he had never met any of those people that he'd never see ever and again in his life. The feeling was still there. Okay. They're so fucking throwing I mean, a picture better for once. Press it, man! <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 Here, I linked your fucking stupid ass, man. Why? I was fine. I better Suck my fucking can, ass. Can, nice man. banner, dude. Kick him, bitch. You're such I a fucking it, troll. It's, oh, it's a dark rider. Level question mark, question mark, humanoid. Oh, shit. Oh, God, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, my fuck. Fucking KO. Impact. No! Oh my god, I have Fucking KO. He tweeted at me. I'm at the list. Look at this. This is an actual person that met me in real life. Alright? How does he smell? Ha ha, he surprisingly didn't. So every single person that's met me in real life says that I don't smell bad. And the only people that think that I smell bad are people that have never fucking met me. I do not smell bad at all. Yeah, it, it's Yeah, a... you know why? Why? <clears throat> because the only time you ever meet people is at fucking conventions. And you know what these conventions smell like? Dirty, smelly-ass nerds, and they stink up the whole goddamn place. So who's gonna smell you over the goddamn bunch of people? Nobody. You still smell, you just don't smell quite as bad as the hundreds of other fucking sweaty ass, smelly nerds at the same place. Ask, bitch. ask anybody that's met me. Ask Esfond, Stay Safe, Tips, Pink Sparkles, any of the people that actually met me that took pictures with me. I do not smell bad. Because I would always go in my car at night. And I went in my car during the day. And I realized that there were mold spores growing everywhere on the doors and on like the steering wheel and everything. And I remember I would sit in the car and like just lay back and just take it in and just sleep for like an hour. And I, I, it's like the, the more moldy it became, the more at home I felt. So I, I really don't think that's true, man. Like, I, I don't do anything like that. It's disgusting. Uh, yeah. Right. No, really. Like, what's wrong? Like, I'm uh, a very, I'm a very just... clean person. Can somebody tweet this at Asmund and make sure he knows about this? Can somebody make sure he knows that I just got a thousand dollar donation just trying to test my stream out? <laughs> okay. Holy fuck, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you, IC. I appreciate it, man. RP walk now. RP walk now. Let's go. Follow the road. Everybody follow the road. Yep. We'll do it naturally. We'll do it naturally. Oh no, it's the caravan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, man. Oh. There they are. I'm surprised it's letting us get this far. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. That's, I need to take a piss, boys. I'll be right back. Sorry. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia. Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. Three. I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, 
Yeah, I know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna <laughs> oh my be god, dude. Holy shit, dude. Wow. I fucking love it, man. I do. There it is, boys. This is the state of the Asmin Gold stream now. Here it is. I'm like, hey, hey, what's up? But with the girl, I'm scared of girls. So I'm standing like two foot away from her, hands by my fucking side, like this, right? And apparently she thought I like. Apparently she thought I like hated her or she wasn't attractive or whatever, but I, it's just because I was like Because I was worried. I don't want to like touch people. I'm scared. I know I didn't even hover hand I full-on like fucking didn't even touch bro. We need a tank once I'll edit this uh, One tank HC clip yeah, there we go. Fuck I can find the photo maybe uh, Maybe uh, it's it's blurred so yeah Okay, okay. Wait. Here's the photo. Their, their face is blurred for their protection, but... I wasn't kidding, dude. I was like a good... <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so we need seven billion dollars. Okay, that's fine. Uh, just one second. Let me set this up. Uh, let's see, donation goal, uh, and donation goal by Blizzard. And we'll just make this for, uh, donation goal amount, uh, 18, 111, 111, 111, okay, 18 billion dollars and zero dollars to start. And we'll give this donation goal about, uh, four days. And we'll see where this takes us, okay, guys? There we go. Alright, guys, uh, we're pretty much good. Let's see, is this started? Yeah. Okay, and there's, uh, yeah, 18 billion dollars. Every once in a while, they'll look at me, they'll be like, they'll look like this. And I'll be like... And that's it, man. Fuck them. Because, like, here's the thing, right? Is it... It's something that you always do. So, the way that I look at it is, like, drawing a dick is actually the exact same as signing my name. Because it's a unique thing that probably only I do. So if I draw a dick and somebody's trying to like steal my identity, they're going to probably try and sign my name and not draw a dick. So it's 200 IQ, actually. Well, not anymore. Now you're going to have to draw a pussy. I play WoW. What does that look like? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, fuck, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something else out. Google it. Oh, <laughs> just say, let me look it up on Google real, real quick. Fucking idiot, Aatrox. Kill him. End my life. Oh, my everyone in here. Yeah, Ev everyone in here. Huh? Everyone in here. Everyone in. <gasps> oh! <my God>. oh! <laughs> Wait, we're okay. We're okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have called him an idiot. I shouldn't have called him an idiot. Shit. He knocked us out of the thing. <laughs> the lockout. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, dude. That's sick. I can fear as well. Yep. It's done. Just fear. Do, 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 do. Done. What? What? Hello? Did anyone what? see this? Okay. So here's the uh, here's the video here. We have many of our best developers working on new mobile titles across all uh. of our IPs. Wait, what? No. Listen. Ugh. Listen, dude. You, you want you want to hear this? No. In terms of uh, Blizzard's approach to mobile gaming, many of us over the last few years have shifted from playing primarily desktop to playing many hours on mobile. And we have many of our best developers now working on new mobile titles across all of our IPs. Some of them are uh, with external partners like uh, Diablo Immortal. Uh, many of them are being developed internally only uh, and we'll have uh, information to share on those in the future. I will say also that we have more new products in development today at Blizzard than we've ever had in our history and our future is very bright. Hey, fuck you! Um, as, Fuck as you, dude. Bright my ass. Um, uh, Bright my asshole. I just want to hear it one more time. Dude. Mobile. And from uh, Blizzard's approach to mobile gaming, 
Many of us over the last few years have shifted from playing primarily desktop to playing many hours on mobile. And we have many of our best developers now working on new mobile titles across all of our IPs. Some of them are... Uh... Well, this then. is some bullshit. I really hate mobile gamers. I like. I just think really? mobile gamers are the they're they're actually the worst. Like I said this, I'll be honest, dude. When you when you went to the bathroom yesterday, yeah, I said this. I said they're the worst people on earth, and I I stand by that. They're the worst people. You sure? They're, you're just so yeah because they're being catered to. And number one. Yeah. Number one, mobile games suck dick. Okay, the True. controls always suck dick. The gameplay always sucks dick. Yeah. And number two, mobile gamers are literally buying microtransactions to play the games. You're all fucking losers. All of you. That that buy into this microtransaction bullshit. And you're part of the reason. You're part. You're part of the reason that we keep getting this. It is your fault and it is the developer's fault. I think it's very telling that they were saying that a lot of the developers have shifted from playing PC games to mobile games most of the time. I mean, to me, that seems really kind of disturbing. Because if you're making PC games and you're making mobile games and you don't even play PC games, it's not going to be a surprise whenever you see PC games adopting the same types of uh of content schedules and mentalities that the mobile games have right i don't think that's a surprise at all i mean and that's what's kind of what's worried what's worrying me uh pay to win is a problem confusing subjects doesn't help the cause well no i don't think it's really pay to win at all because like there's all these other things that are not pay to win but they're also very damaging to like a consumer base. So you can look at like pay for convenience. Like at what point does pay to win and pay for convenience, uh, you know, wh when do they begin and end? For example, what happens whenever you have pay for convenience features is you start having companies get a financial incentive to make things inconvenient without paying for the convenience features, right? Because that's gonna make them more money. And I think that's what's happened a lot with, uh, uh, with the Blizzard games, and especially like the, you, I had this happen a lot with Black Desert. Black Desert was probably the best example of a uh, of pay for convenience gone wild. Uh, even buying cosmetics is shit. All microtransactions are cancer. Oh, I don't like microtransactions at all. I think microtransactions should be completely invisible to the player. So if like you don't play, if you if you don't spend any money on the game, they shouldn't affect the way that you play the game at all. And or, or any level of convenience or anything like that. It's just like really kind of scary to see that kind of shit. I I don't know. Like, do you think it's anything is going to change though? No, it's going to keep getting worse. And I'll tell you this right now: mobile gamers are bad. And I'll tell you who's also bad okay. is people that uh, they they buy into the fucking what is it pre-order bullshit. They're the reason we have issues with that, too, on PC. I think pre-ordering is bad, but what happens and what comes out of mobile games is worse. Yeah, uh, I that, agree. Yeah, that's that's the way that I see it. Not until people stop paying for it, and there are too many, wait, uh, too many people, super people, to realize the game is included for free. Well, that's the thing, right? Is like gaming, now that it's so mainstream, you have like an audience of people that are uninvested and uninvolved, and companies now have like the freedom to do more things that are consumer unfriendly. And that's basically what's happened, is that now that gaming is so mainstream, you have people that don't really see through these obvious fucking lies that the companies are telling you, right? And, like, they're saying, oh, yeah, we we care about, like, the experience and all this kind of stuff. Like, they, they don't, right? They care about making money. And it becomes more obvious. But whenever you have a larger, less invested population, it's easier to sell those lies. And that's basically what's happened, is they're just selling fucking lies. We need to make sure we get tags on these because these guys are trying to snipe. Okay. Um, well, how many... Like, are, are these quest items that we have to get or can they trade them? Nope. Oh, it's They're a quest, quest item. Items. Okay, yeah. So we have right. to get tags. All right. Okay. Trying to tag as many of these as possible. Okay. We've gotten all three of these, I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, we're good. Yeah, just AoE these down. Have you gotten anything so far? I have one nitro, two wood, one... Jesus Christ, this is a... Oh my god. I have to get six of each one? Jesus Christ. Yep. Mobile games made 70 million in 2018, PC games have a 34, and console is 30 million. Well, that's the thing, right? Is because mobile games, like what the guy said, right? You have a phone, don't you? That is the mentality that they're using, is because that's the audience they're reaching. They're reaching probably the most, the most like, I, I don't really like using this word a lot. I think it's kind of dumb, but like the most like normie audience possible. And uh, I think that's kind of what's happened, is they're, they're trying to reach that audience. And, you know, in the process of doing that, I think they're alienating their original audience. So that's what it seems like to me at least yeah it's a normal uh, boring ass middle-aged men well i don't think that's the case at all i think most middle-aged men are probably playing like pc games mostly not even uh actually i don't know like is it is it time for that yet because obviously time like, for whenever, what? well like whenever we get older right I, I feel like a lot of people that are like our age are going to continue playing video games whenever we get older right and maybe yeah yeah I, I think that they will it'll always be like more of a thing for younger people but I think that the uh, the demographics for video games will go up, right? Or the age demographics will go up just because the people that like grew up uh, playing them are gonna get older. Let me pull some of these other mobs. Dude, I haven't gotten a single fucking item. This is ridiculous. What is this? How good is this ring, man? It's three int, three spirit. But there are no other rings that you can get unless it drops off a mob. So Has anybody gotten a ring drop though? Yes, I saw one yesterday. It was a Zircon ring of uh, like arcane resistance or something. Okay, it so dropped off the quill cool board. Okay, uh, 46. I play PS, uh, PC, and PS4 only. Well, what I'm saying is like I'm not talking about like exceptions. I'm talking about rules, right? Obviously, there are people who are 70 who play only PC games and hate mobile games. But you know, whenever you're talking about demographics, you're not really looking at one person and saying, okay, well, because this one person doesn't do what the norm is, that means the norm isn't real. Uh, there's a lot of other people that d are not the same. Uh, oh, I got one. Okay, we're good, boys. Let's go. Okay, just ignore that one. I'll just keep going for the other ones. There's apparently, like, a boss at the bottom here, too. Uh, there's a... What, do you want to kill him? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's go, boys. Everybody come down to the bottom. Come with me. Be very careful. Uh, he's an unknown level mob, so uh, we have to make sure we don't die. Okay, come down here. He's right... Th uh, where, where is he? Oh, he's, oh, shit. Yeah, he's right in there. Okay, boys, get ready. Blizzard's, Blizzard is the new Konami. B Mobile is sadly the future of gaming. Cheap production costs. Uh, what is this here? Cheap production costs, insanely high profits. PC and console gaming can't compete, even though they're superior quality. I feel like there's always going to be, like, an audience for it. Like, I don't worry that, like, no content is going to come out of PC gaming. But I also worry that, like, the... It's just, like, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I really don't. Like... I do think mobile gaming will get a lot worse before it gets better, though. The same with, like, pay-to-win transactions, stuff like that, too. Because you just have these people that, like, they'll blindly defend the company no matter what. And they'll be like, well, they're just doing it to make money, and they're a company, so if they try to make money, that means it's completely fine. And they don't look at, like, what's actually, you know, what the consumer experience is, or anything that's similar to that. They don't do a lot of thinking. What? I don't know, weird. Uh, I'm so tired of the... What is this anymore? F for Diablo Immortal. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, to me, I just... I feel bad about the Diablo Immortal thing. And I'm actually surprised that they even said what they said. And I bet, like, that guy's probably... Like, there's somebody in PR who's probably pissed off about that guy saying that most people play mobile games. Because it's like there's already kind of a meme that, like, the Diablo or, like, the Warcraft and just Blizzard devs in general are kind of out of touch. And just, like, saying that makes it like a lot more evident okay uh do not pull everything all at the same time guys oh shit okay we pulled everything all at the same time all right uh guys let's focus focus it's focus a it's a wipe it's a wipe no it's not a fucking wipe dude let's go everybody come on it's a wipe all right no it's not but it's not guys come up to the top come up to the top line of sight line of sight kill the lower health ones first kill the lower health mobs first everybody come on whoa wait no 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 come come back up here okay th all right now we're up here all right that's good Okay, guys. Uh, kill them one at a time. One at a time. Uh, kill the lower we health ones first. We didn't get the first. tag on general. That's fine. The person that probably got the tag will die. Okay, we're killing them. We're killing them fine. We're good. Boys, are out of touch. There's no question that. The Hell and Oats song was basically made for them. Well, I don't know what that is, but 
to me, I, I think that they are kind of out of touch. I think a lot of the players and the people that are like making their games probably, like, I don't think they probably play the games as much anymore because like they're probably older. I feel like whenever Blizzard, like whenever they made WoW, they made WoW for like the developers made that game for themselves. And it feels like now the developers make the game for like another audience, if that makes sense. Right, like people that aren't like, they're, they're not making a game for themselves in a way, or maybe they are, but their interests have changed. So the game has changed because of their interests have changed. Maybe that's it.